All right, what do the Yankees have to do to catch up to the Red Sox? So they were eight games different during the regular season. They lost in uh, five games in the, uh, or, or, yeah, in four games in the ALDS. If you're in Brian Cashman's shoes, are you signing Harper? Are you signing Machado? What are you doing to pull even with the Red Sox? The first thing I'm doing is I'm open up the wallet. Because you know, depending on if you use you know, opening day or end of the year um, payroll, the Red Sox spent 50, 60 million bucks more than the Yankees this year. I mean, that's, that's a couple quality players. So I think the Yankees have to go aggressive in free agency. And if you have to overpay for a Patrick Corbin or go back and get Nate Evaldi, I mean, what Nate Evaldi can do in the playoffs for you as a starter and reliever is super valuable. I like getting a guy, I think Torres should play shortstop to start the season um, until Didi comes back, if he comes back. I'd like to sign a guy like Marwin Gonzalez from the Astros. Here's somebody that can play every position. You put him at second base for the majority of the first half of the season, and then when Didi comes back, you can always slide Torres over back to second, and Marwin can mix in the outfield or first base or wherever he needs to play based on performance and, and based on health of other players. Uh, I, I'm not a proponent of blowing it up. Uh, I told you guys last week, I think, you know, Cashman is going to do everything he can to make the team better, but it doesn't sound like he's going to trade Gary Sanchez. doesn't sound like he's going to give up on Greg Bird yet. Um, I'm interested to see what they do with Andujar because he needs to get better defensively at third base, and maybe it's just one of those situations where you go, I'm just going to work with him and make him better. <laughs> um, but I don't think they're going to go out and get Harper or Machado, but you never know. The Yankees always have something up their sleeve. I, I looked at it this way, Mark. I don't know how much money they're going to spend. I don't know if they're going to blow the, 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 the whole payroll thing up in terms of like spending more than the, the Red Sox, I'm yeah, not quite exactly. sure. But if I, can, if I have to allocate, I'm allocating toward pitching, not toward those two guys. No doubt, no doubt. And I think the amount of money that you're going to spend on a Harper and Machado, when you already have talented players that can fill those shoes, uh, I really like having a floating DH. I think you should put Stanton out there and let him play left field for, for part of the season or the majority of the season. If you have Judge and right, Hicks in center, and then Stanton in left, and you can you know, maybe work in a Clint Frazier or work in uh, an Esteban Florial, one of those guys uh, as a young player to get some at-bats, and then just float that DH for a first baseman. You know, Gary Sanchez gets a DH every now and then. You can give Judge a DH every now and then. I think that might be the plan. So if that's the case... You're not going out and signing Machado or Harper because th there's no at bats. You have to trade somebody else, and that would really be um, be taking a team that won 100 games and, and has a really good core nucleus and and rocking the boat a little bit.